I nominated Rose Anderson, who is Advanced Registered Nurse Practitioner at Camilla's Health since 1993. She is the main outreach nurse. She knows her business. She's extraordinarily well-trained. She uh, goes over and does the outreach at the Sisters of Charity, Mother Teresa's shelter. And uh, she just loves the poor. There was a lady that lived on the street not far from our downtown shelter, and she refused to come in for treatment. And she was dying. Barbie at one time was a model. So uh, Rose brought her some cosmetics one day just to try to reclaim some of that. And through Rose's intervention, got an apartment for her in our facility. Rose coaxed her into it, and she died there. But uh, this is an example of a person who understands life with dignity and death with dignity. She is able to get inside them and find out who they are. She's not just an outreach nurse. I mean, she's a regular uh, uh, ARNP uh, provider in our clinic, carrying a load, uh, just like the physicians and the other ARNPs. Rose Anderson is a healthcare hero because she goes where no one else chooses to go. Shakira Henderson has been a pioneer and an innovator for bringing about change and promoting breastfeeding. Her biggest achievement is taking on breastfeeding in the neonatal intensive care unit. These mothers were kind of put aside when their babies went into NICU and not given the opportunity to breastfeed. Shakira felt that that was not right. So Shakira got together with seven of her colleagues. They became lactation specialists. She created what we call the restaurant, which allows the mothers to pump, to save their milk, and to eventually breastfeed their babies at 34 weeks. And this touches about 500 mothers a year. She's in two programs right now for her PhD and her DMP, and she's working as one of our nurse scientists. She's taking this motivation and creativity to the bedside nurse to get them involved in research. It's such an exciting thing to see the creativity and the initiative and in someone so young in their career. Shakira Henderson, in my opinion, is one of those few in a lifetime. Al Hernandez has committed essentially his entire career to taking care of trauma patients. He's always been a man of action and compassion and care. He is now, from the nursing side, leading the trauma center. For the nurses, it's a real pressure cooker. Remember, it's a teaching hospital. So you are surrounded by people who are in training, and at the same time, you have the sickest patients in their greatest moment of need. If there's a problem in the trauma center, and you bring it to Al, something will happen. He will intervene and he will take care of the problem. At the Ryder Trauma Center, we have the nation's only Army Trauma Training Center. We have trained every Army forward surgical team that's been deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. And Al's been instrumental in creating that, that relationship between uh, Jackson and the university and the Army. He's the go-to person for making that happen. The Trauma Center has just celebrated its 20th anniversary and uh, he's been there as long as it's been open, as have I. Uh, we were really essentially both beginning together. He manages people and trains them to that same level of excellence that he holds himself to. Al Hernandez is, is truly a healthcare hero.